Good music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. We just listened to Tonight by Neki, who is in the studio with us. In the beauty in Lagos <laughs> City. so much, guys, for having me. Man, it's great to have you, man. I'm so amped to be here. Man, Thank you got a great you. voice. Like, <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're just sounding surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shocked, man? No, I'm sounding humble, girl. Humble, right? Because okay, right, cool. she's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't know. Like that's not why you are here. <laughs> so, so every would tell me stuff like that. I mean, I just go like, I'm shy. I oh, know. Oh my God! Oh my God! So but you know. Shy. <laughs> no, but for real, your 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 voice is actually very unique thank and very sir. beautiful. Thank you yeah. so, so it, it carries that power. You gonna feel that power. Mm-hmm. You know the way she's singing and projecting. You can oh feel that God. power. Yeah. Stop it! Not. No, like we Stop call it as we not. see it. True. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> and that you. is very true. Well, if you're wondering um, who Neki is, she's the winner of Take Back the Mic. That's what that's it. Yeah, yes. Take Back the Mic season three. I think that's Take Back the Mic Africa. Africa. Yeah. Yes, Africa. 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 It's um, with uh, 10 African countries. Awesome. So what are, what are the other countries? Um, there's Senegal, there's Ethiopia, there's Ghana, there's mm. uh, Cote d'Ivoire, there's um, South Africa. Okay. Um, just a whole lot of them. A and you're lot. all creatives. Yeah, from creatives. So there's DJ, um, there's a graffiti artist. Oh, right. she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So how nice. do they select the person who is actually going to represent the country? Like, yeah. how were so you the one who represented Nigeria? Eventually? So that there was initially a poll, a poll of um, six artists from each country. Okay. And then you get to the semi-final. I, I was amongst the three artists that got to the semi-finals. Uh-huh. And afterwards, it was determined with another poll mm. of people who just come to vote. Vote on for the, the three of you. Yes. Yeah, so I was the one that, that emerged the Rep- representative for Nigeria. Interesting. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, how did you hear about it though? Like, you know, this, you know, uh, Take Back the Mic Africa, how did he get wind of it? I heard from uh, the first season winner, Feko. Shout out, shout out to Feko. Feko yeah, was on the show yeah, with so us, like, you know, um, months year. back. Yeah, yeah, last year. They were like, oh, okay, shout yeah, out to Feko, so by the way. He, he was one who, which is like, you have to go for this. Like, oh, <laughs> I don't have the time. I'm, a v- I'm, a, I'm an aviator. Okay. So mm-hmm. usually there's um, a whole lot of time, scheduling and all whatnot. Mm. So he said, just go for it. It's on the app. You already have good music. Just put those ones up and they're going to shoot a video for you mm. if you qualify and all whatnot. So I said, oh, let me just give it Let's a do this. Um, I was on The Voice Nigeria. So he's like, okay. okay, this is going to be another platform altogether because now they are rating you based on your creative, your own work, original mm. song. Mm. So just give it a try. And I did. And I'm so glad that I did. So I mean, like the grand prize. Mm-hmm. $25,000. Like, <laughs> what? Now we like, know what, what? what Naira is speaking. The kind of what? grammar ah! Naira is speaking. You know what I'm saying? Five thousand dollars. Let me days on to me. I, right the now I'm looking for. Be. So after the Naira dollar, you know uh-uh. the dollar spike, I've been on this mission. Uh, yeah. I've been searching for someone that would just say, you know, I want to dash you three k dollars. They just said it so I can convert. <laughs> okay. and now she now imagine you got twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. But then, like, where did that, you know, um, that reluctance, you know, come from? Uh, did you have anything to do with your experience when you went for The Voice? You know, because, you know, you said Feko was trying to convince you, like, you know, go for this, do mm-hmm. this. Where was that reluctance coming from? The reluctance was um, emanating from the fact that I didn't want to delve into another competition that was going to take so much of my time, so mm-hmm. much of my commitment mm-hmm. and take me away from work. Mm-hmm. Because um, while I was on The Voice Nigeria, I found it a little difficult. Mm. It was a little bit difficult to concentrate on on work. Mm. And my work, if you make any mistake, is considered a security breach. So it's not just something that's treated with levity. So I needed... But at some point, I said, okay, it's just... Because we women, eh, we are powerful. You know, when we, when we focalize on something, we build momentum. I said, I just started giving myself the pep talk that I will be able to do it. Mm. So that being uh, very intentional with my work, so it doesn't take me... A lot of my colleagues didn't know I was on the, on the competition. No, you they just wow. see my post. It, w- it was when I won. They're like, oh, we saw something. You posted it. And then it's, uh, some people were... Com- and most of them that were commenting were mostly white. What was that? It's a competition. It's a yes. I said, how were you able to do it with our work? Work. <laughs> this is our work. <laughs> so uh, that was that was where the reluctance um, came stemmed from. from. Yes, okay, I feel you. from I feel work. You. Interesting. Yeah. So you said that um, your music, w- the competition was going to be strictly your music. So you yeah. were not going to be doing like covers of other people's no, music. No, it's just your original work. So how how did how did that happen? Did you have to be recording new music while the competition was going on? Like, tell us, take us through that. Oh well, the thing is, I didn't even record any new music. So mm-hmm. a few months ago, I released my. Uh, 
my Unhota album, like mm. uh, an album of nine songs. Okay. So okay. majority of the songs I presented were, you know, coming from the album and previous um, works I had already released, like Versa Style that had the Tonight You Just Played. Okay. Um, so I already have a lot of songs that, you know, would put me through. So I, I wasn't really juggling that work, studio sessions and all whatnot. Yeah. All I had to focus on was delivering the, the work online and mm. also getting um, myself ready for the interviews and the shoots that I had to do mm. uh, prior to that. So. And how long have you been into music? How long have you um, been doing this? Let's say professionally, let's say six to seven years. What? Mm. Yeah. Six, six to, to seven, seven years. Yeah. Interesting. About. And I've been an indie artist, like just on my own doing it. So I've never really sought out like some kind of getting signed to a label. To a label. Or, because for the most uh, part, I'm not restricted to a genre. So I just embrace music in its entirety. What I feel like putting out, I put out. Yeah. And yeah, mostly songs you can relate to. You want to have fun. You want to hear about love. Mm. You want to hear about, there was a song I released on home when we started having a lot of security issues uh, back in the southeast so i released the song um there's one about you know how people they jack yeah. you know yeah. and then they are not so they, i noticed a lot of people are leaving their loved ones here you get engaged or you're in a relationship and you just want to leave hmm. and the other person doesn't want to there's a song about that about too. That. that's the cheta you song, know, that's you the know, beauty remember. of music generally yes. music is supposed to like you know uh different type of music is supposed to address different issues that we go through in life and generally you yeah. know within our society within our ourselves as well and yes. putting you know our fault so you know hey you know i feel like you know there's a certain realness that comes with it when you sing about those things like that I, you know i like to hear about that jackpot one yeah it sounds like a love <laughs> conflict you know, it like, is it is oh, and the thing it. about creatives is just high time we started lending our voice to all the societal ills absolutely it's not just about the feet moving sometimes you just want to be sober you want to reflect for real yeah. there are songs that you know should help you give you the kick like we want to make a decision next year you know you have to make the right decision no, for real yeah. like you know I, I think a lot of artists are coming to you know realize that more and more even whiskey says something recently you know he said 2023 that you know he's going to be involved bigly in the election season in nigeria and he, so he gave his reason for that you know because he so felt like you know it's high time that you know we made like the right choices when it comes to like choosing our leaders so yes it's high time that music creatives as well lend their voice the right way not because they've been paid yes. you know some money to say support yeah. this person because i always say it all the time that you got to be careful you got fans who just follow what you say because they're fans say. of you so please be saying the right thing say the right thing not because you collected money but mm -hmm. because it's the right thing to be sure. said you know what I mean? but anyways let's go play some music we'll come back in a bit you know we got more questions for you still let's go you know rock to some good music hit music for lagos 102.3 max fm <laughs> 